You guys are amazing with your requests, and uh, I love all the feedback and the suggestions you guys have been sending me. This one I am doing today, I had somebody mention that they were kind of leery about switching to another Linux distribution because they were going to have to go through the hassle of reinstalling their virtual machine and all of its drivers and that sort of thing. Well, today on Spatry's Cup of Linux, I'm going to show you how to back up those virtual machines and then you can import them into your new Linux distribution. Okay, let's begin. You are going to be amazed when you see just how easy this is. Okay, first, one thing you could do is you could back up your virtual machines by going into your home folder and you will see VirtualBox VMs. And there you can copy and paste these folders to a backup hard drive. This is a little bit more tedious though because then you would have to individually set up each machine and have them point to your hard drives that are stored in the folder. You can see the VDI files here. This is the virtual hard drive that has all your data, all your drivers and everything installed on it. But then you got to go through the hassle of reinstalling uh, the VirtualBox additions as well. So why not make an appliance out of them? Well, this is how you do it. Go into File. Make sure you have this. I'm going to do a uh, appliance of my live CD. Let's export the appliance. We're going to select Live CD and the Next. Okay, and then we can choose where we want this to go. In my case, I like to put things on my, on my backup drive. So we will select there and then select save. Oh, I've got to give it a name. Let's call this um, live. And then save it. Okay, and so it will make media backup live.ova and then select next. And you can change here. You can change additional configuration values of the selected virtual machine. You can modify most of the properties shown by double-clicking the items. I am going to leave everything just as it is, and then export. Now, take note of what I have here. This is a live CD with Linux 2.6, 2048 megs of RAM, and it has VT. X and AMD V acceleration. It has 3D acceleration enabled in 128 megs of RAM. I want you to see this because wait till you see what happens when I delete this one. I'm just going to delete this right now. I'm going to remove it. And not only am I going to remove it, I'm going to delete all files because, because for this, I just want to show you that you can import your appliance back. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just double check and make sure it's in my backup drive. Here it is, my live OVA file. Okay, this file isn't very large because it doesn't have a hard drive on it and that's why I'm using it in this example because I wanted to make this nice and quick for you. But it will take longer to back up if you've got a 20 or 40 gig drive that is being copied to your backup. All right, so we will go file and then import appliance. We will select choose and then we will move to our backup folder where live OVA is stored and then open. Then we will select next. We will leave all the options as is and then select import. Now as you can see all of the information is still here and this is ready for use. Now, because this is a live CD and it doesn't have a hard drive, every time I start the machine, I have to pick a disk that it will boot off of. And this is, I just primarily use this when I'm reviewing uh, different operating systems. But you can see this is really simple. Another pointer that I want to mention is when 
you decide to export an appliance, you might want to consider using the very same uh, version of VirtualBox. In my case, if I go into About VirtualBox, you will see down here that I'm using 4.1.4 revision uh, 74.291. So what you will want to do is when you're switching to the next operating system, download this version and and uh, run it and then you should be able to import your appliance and use it quite easily. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, if you thought this was uh, if you thought this was uh, useful to you, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also hit me up on Facebook. Tell your friends. Uh, help me uh, build this channel and I'll keep these videos coming out to you. Thanks for watching.